the average percentage of failures in a certain exam is 40. That means 40% candidates fail in the examination. What is the probability that in a group of 6 candidates, at least 4 passed in the examination? Probability of failure in the exam is given to be 40%. Generally, it is 0.4 or 2 by 5. And that means probability of passing the exam is 1 minus 2 by 5. Because passing the exam and failing in the exam are complement events. Number of candidates in the group is 6. What is the probability that at least 4 passed in the examination? First of all, we want to find the final answer of passing the examination. That means 3 by 5 becomes P for us, not 2 by 5. Is it? And therefore, 2 by 5 becomes Q. Number of candidates in the group are 6. That can be taken as N. Or either we should take this as N. Because out of this 6, we want to find the probability that at least 4 pass the examination. Now the question is, what do we mean by at least 4? That means probability of R or X greater than or equal to 4. Again, we have two options, either from 4 to n or 1 minus from 3 to 0. Yes, we are going for either 4 or 5, either 4 or 5 or 6. So, we have to find the answer of these three and the summation will be the final answer. Probability of R successes is NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. First of all, probability of 4 is 6 C4 into 3 by 5 raised to 4 into 2 by 5 raised to 6 minus 4, that is 2. Now, 6 C4 is equal to 6 C2 and 6 C2 means 6 C2 means 6 into 5 divided by 2, so it is 15, 3 by 5 raised to 4. First of all, 3 raised to 4. 3, 9, 27, 81. Yes, 81. 5 raised to 4. What is 5 raised to 4? 5, 25, 125, 625. Yes. Into 2 raised to 2, 4. 5 raised to 2, 25. Just simplify this. Next is P of 5. It is 6 C5 into P raised to 5 into Q raised to 6 minus 5 means 1. That means 6 C5 is equivalent to 61 and it is always 6. Into P means 3 by 5 raised to 5 into Q means 1 by 5 raised to 1. 6 into 3 raised to 5 that means 81 into again 3. 240. 3 divided by 5 raised to 5. It is 3, 1, 2, 5, is it? And 1 by 5 raised to 1 is 1 by 5. Again, simplify the answer. The common denominator is 15,625, is it? Probability of all 6 successes equals to 6 C6 six into P raised to 6 into Q raised to 6 minus 6, 0. 6 C6 six is 1. P raised to 6 means 3 by 5 raised to 6 into 1 by 5 raised to 0. 1 is 1. 3 raised to 6 is again 243 into 3. It is 729, is it? Divided by 5 raised to 6, 15,625. And anything rest to 0 is 1. So the final answer is 729 divided by 15,625. Now the grand final answer. Probability of at least 4 equals to P of 4 plus P of 5 plus P of 6 that is N. So the final answer will be summation of all these three probabilities. Yes, what is 15 into 4? It is 60. 60 into 81 is 4860, right? In this case, 6 into 243. 
1458 divided by 15006. 1458. Now add these three. 7047 divided by 15625. You can find the value in decimal places. 1, 4, 5, 1. 1, 4, 5.